It's it's pretty fun. It's gonna be a pretty fun time. We've got some ice climbers coming out, going against Shulk here. Let's get into it. Looks like we are players are ready. All right, so Lanky starting out, going into the speed, hoping to get some early damage in up against the Ice Climbers. Looks like he's taking a little bit back, trying to chase that through, hitting it with the counter. White Tree, it, it looks like, I think he's just feeling him out a little bit, seeing how close he can get in, and wanting to figure out what the spacing looks like on Shulk. I'm not sure if he's too familiar with this. And it looks like Lanky going into the Buster, trying to get more of that percentage up on there. He's sitting at just 25, he's, he's gotta get some work done. Ooh! Solid, solid with that 45% coming in. 57, ooh. And getting an answered pretty quick. It's looking like White Tray is not falling for that counter again on here. Ooh, Lanky coming in, keeping the damage, keeping it about even through here. Staying, staying out of the changes to, oh, oh, and he had the air dodge, did not quite get close enough to the ledge. But here he comes in with his Ridley. So his Ridley, I, I'm a buddy of Lanky's, is nasty. It is just a mean character in his hands. He has way too much fun with this guy. He, he's been dreaming of Ridley being in Smash since, I, I want to say since Melee Man. Oh, and Raitre answering it back, not quite hitting that ledge. Just missing it on there. Okay, but we do have the snake coming in. So looks like Raitre coming in with some zoning, trying to keep him up in one space so he can get in and get some good damage. 53 unanswered right now from Lanky. And Lanky just trying to find a way in. Oh, he's got it. He's got it a bit though. Coming in, going across the sides. Trying to follow him across. And White Trade is setting up once again so that Lanky has a hard option when he comes back on stage. But Lanky's trying to keep the damage percentage pretty close here. They're within, within 20 at this point. And Lanky, oh, looks like he just missed that one. Again, Lanky's just having a hard time finding a spot to come down most of these times. But as soon as he's getting in, he is getting a good amount of percentage on the right tray and following him up. But right tray recovering high, Lanky trying to go for it, just close. If that spike had connected, that is a disgusting way to take somebody out. Right tray again, keeping the zoning up on here and keeping it so that he's, so that Lanky is never quite sure where his option is. Lanky having to be careful coming in. Right tray again, keeping the pressure up on the zoning so that Lanky's never really got a great answer when he when he's coming back on the stage. But Lanky controlling stage now. Right tray having a bit of a hard time getting close in because Lanky's just playing the zone game, playing it well, picking his moments really well as well, and keeping his eyes out for that C4. Because I'll admit that last one, I didn't even see where that's when that where that landed. And that Lanky pressuring shield. Ooh, and there we go. Clean one coming out of Lanky. Keep getting it down to the last stock here for Raitre with the, with the wonderful uh, stretch of shoulders. And <laughs> fantastic character, though. A lot of fun is the Wii Fit Trainer, and she, she gets some disturbing stuff up. But it looks like Lanky is down to his last character here, coming in with the snake. He's using the snake while they... Ooh, just coming in with little bits of damage, coming in with the fair. And Raitre just really getting in this time. Lanky's not playing as much of the zone game as it looks like Raitre was trying to go for. He's more going for that direct damage, getting himself into the into the match there. Ooh, getting faked out just a little bit. And again, Lanky recovering high. Raitre is just controlling this corner of the stage, but Lanky gets in behind him, gets the nice back air on there for some for a little bit of damage. He's got quite a bit of room to make up, though, unfortunately, with where he's at at this point. Because that 115, if... Ooh, but he's starting to make it look like an even game. Getting some nice damage across. Lanky, once again, he's setting up, keeping keeping Raitre stuck onto this corner. Raitre following up with a fantastic up smash to take the game. Great job there, Raitre, for the first one. So we are playing a best of three on there. Raitre coming up with the first one here with a nice win on that first, on the first match. Now it looks like we're just waiting for the counter pick to come in. Lanky thinking it over. We'll have that here for a second, everybody. Yoshi's story. Kind of an interesting counter pick. Once again, going into the three selections. 
And it looks like Lanky is switching it up a little bit. He's bringing in the Bowser, Ridley, and let's see where else he goes. And the Snake. So now we got Raitrey. He's coming in with the Snake again, the Wii Fit Trainer. Let's see what he finishes this up with. Because I'm, I'm unfamiliar with Raitrey's pool here, like what he normally plays. I do know that these are all in Lanky's wheelhouse. He likes those big, beefy boys that can get in, get some solid damage, and also just keep themselves safe throughout most of that time. Ooh, Raitrey having some indecision here. Going with the Samus. Ooh, interesting. So it looks like RJ likes to play a little bit of that zoning game, which the Samus is going to give him another option to do that, along with the uh, along with the snake on there. So it looks like we got Lanky just kind of keeping the same lineup that he had. He's got a big boy, then Ridley to snake on here. But it looks like Raitrey's going for something a little different where he's starting out with the Samus this time and hoping to finish out the stocks with that Wii Fit Trainer. All right, so let's see here. So again, Raitrey setting up a little bit of a zone just initially. Lanky feeling it out, seeing what, seeing how Raitrey likes to get set up. Coming in with some nice poke damage every once in a while, but Raitrey answering with a nice back air. And again, setting up so Linky does not have a great option for landing, but once again he gets in, gets a little chip damage, which is, that chip damage does come together at the end here. Ooh, the right tray set, setting up that zone so Linky never really has a great way to come in. He's just having to find a way to enter and then get a little chip damage coming back to stage. Oh, but gets the forward smash out of nowhere, taking right tray out. That was... I, I gotta admit, totally unexpected. I mean, because Lanky's getting, sitting up almost to 150, which is a dangerous percent for anybody to be sitting at, but especially Bowser, because th that big boy, he he can move quick, but he can't quite get back on the stage every single time. But Lanky trying to get some good damage in before he gets knocked out here, and keeping Raitre on his toes. Raitre not really able to get on the stage pretty cleanly, and being forced to. Ooh, Really close on the C4 there. The right trade being forced to, to play a little bit of a different game with Lanky here because Lanky's not giving him the time. Oh, and right trade gets him on the grab, gets the up tilt, gets the kill. But Lanky coming in with his Ridley. And once again, we did see this matchup just in the last round where Lanky was able to kind of spot out right trade on each of these and keep him and keep playing through his zone to actually get some good damage through. But it's looking like Raitre is taking a book out of Lanky's here, taking a page out of Lanky's book here and getting some nice damage across. Lanky once again going for that up, but Raitre again just recovers high. Oh, let's see, let's see. Oh, going for that up tilt out of the recovery, but not quite getting it. And once again, Raitre just trying to, oh! And Lanky catching him when he hits that state, when he's hitting that landing there, getting a nice up smash. Now, Raitre is onto his last stock. He did have this as his last one last time. He was able to close out. And Lakey not forgetting that he can't quite hit that out there. So he's going to be going to his snake. But he's he does have to play that zone game a little bit this time that he was not able to play with Raitre last match. It's, it's Oh, but Raitre just keeping up the pressure, keeping it in on Lakey. Lakey starting to get his footing back. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. That was so much damage. But Lanky coming in clutch with the with that forward smash on the, on the snake to get the kill. Looks like he was close enough to ledge to clean that one out. That was, oh, so close though, looking great. So that brings us to one and one in our, in our first round here. So it looks like we have got a bit of another, I'm not sure we've got the counter there. I think it was Rytray. But going over to Kalos. Now Kalos is personally one of my favorite stages in this Smash game. But it looks like it looks like Lanky's thinking to he's wanting to keep it the same. Oh, he's got a different big boy. So he has got the King K rule coming in this time. Whereas Raitre, it looks like he's switching up a little bit as well by instead going for the cloud this time. Well, let's see what he finishes this up with. Going with the Samus again. So the Samus is going to be his one that he's going to be able to play some zoning with. But then the Cloud to get in there, get some good damage, and be able to trade with these guys. Because most of Lanky's pool here is looking pretty heavy, getting solid hits. Doesn't matter how you get hit, you're going to feel 15 or more from every single one. 
But as we get into this match, we do have Lanky coming in against Raitre. Raitre starting us out with the Cloud, Lanky with the King K rule. And kind of an interesting start out of Raitre just with the quick attack. But Lanky wanting to play a little bit of a pressure game by keeping... But it looks like Raitre is just able to kind of zone him out and keep him in that corner. They're both re-establishing in the center of the stage now. Raitre understanding that you got to keep that crown away from King K. Rool. It's what keeps him the king. But Lanky keeping up against it and Raitre hitting his meter. So we'll see what he chooses to do with that. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing he's going to want to finish out the stock here. But Lanky able to keep the damage going. Oh, and it looks like he did use that meter on the upbeat. So Lanky keeping the damage up, keeping it even. Oh, Lanky just waiting for him to land. Get the nice clap on that boy. Again, Raitre trying to come out and get some quick damage off with the FBs. Ooh, Raitre with the, with the right hands. Oh! And unfortunately did not have the up B to get back on the stage. It looks like he's coming out quick with his Wii Fit trainer and keeping Lanky pressured onto that corner. This is this is one that I do believe Lanky's pretty familiar with. He should know where to go in. And with having the recovery that King K. Rule does, he should be able to get back to stage in a pretty safe position just about every time. Ooh, trying to get that crown just right underneath. Not quite coming back to him though. Raytre getting a little bit of a heal up on there. Nice parry. Lanky, once again, because because he does have the high recovery, he's feeling a lot better. He gets the clap on Raytre here. But that soccer ball, man. Dangerous soccer ball. Dangerous sport soccer. Ooh, almost getting the clean kill there. Again, having that high recovery. Oh, I think he went a little higher than he was expecting there. I think he was hoping to hit the ledge. But Lanky turning it around with the nice smash straight in the face to get the kill. Oh, Raitre just goes right underneath him in response with the, with the Samus and says, not today, girls, not today. Now, Lanky's going back to his snake here, and it looks like he's going to try and play a bit of a bit of a more zone game against Raitre with his first stock, because he, he is a stock up with having Ridley in his back pocket at this point. So Raitre does have a lot of ground to make up, but it looks like he's he keeps trying to get in, and Lanky is just able to keep him under, ooh, keep him under wraps, keep the damage going. Lanky once again playing a bit of a zone game this time, but they are trading damage back and forth pretty even, which is not great for Raitre in this situation because they are sitting one and one. So Raitre is hoping to finish out the stock and be able to get that. Oh, but taking, oh, taking the uppy out. Lanky having to come in with that Ridley to finish out the stock. Though this is a classic matchup. Most of the time it goes to Samus. We'll have to see what it ends up in the Smash Universe being. You can see that boy charge that. But he is able to keep a lot of pressure onto Lanky here. Lanky trying to find his way in because he just needs one or two clean hits. Getting the clean back air. Keeping the damage up. Keeping him just away from the ledge. Oh, not quite. Going for that smash. Ooh, and Lanky getting a little close for comfort to that blast zone. A little too close for comfort to that blast zone. But right tray again, able to kind of... Oh, no. oh, but Lanky comes through, gets the kill. Fantastic job. Great match out of these two. That will be Lanky finishing up on this fantastic match. Great job.